This week on Clubhouse Games, it's fishing. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, what do you call a fish with without an eye? Oh, uh, uh, fish. uh, no, it's still a fish because you know it would... you just took out its eye. Taking out an eye doesn't change its nomenclature at all. It, it, hey, what do you it's... call stealing a picture of me online and tr and use it to pick up people online? Catfishing? No, it's called being a weirdo. Oh, duh. Come on, man. I thought you knew this. What do you call it when you get scammed online? It's a, it's, it's a phishing scam. It, oh. But that has a P in front of it, and that's not what this is. That's sad. Don't get fished. So, yeah, nobody can catfish me, because clearly there are no images of me online at all, ever. Nope. Ah, nature. It's good to get so this is a really realistic-looking fishing game, right off the bat. It's not toy fishing or anything. Red alert! You've got a bite! Put down the board games! Whoa. We're going actual fishing! Is this a button tapping game? I have a feeling this is a button tapping game. I'm gonna mount this sucker on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Squidward looking at a sculpture of a boot. All right, so it looks like we can go minutes in fishing. That's that's how they're doing this one. What's that? What happens in mosaic mode? Nope. Oh. Ha-ha! I'm in control! Okay, it is holding it up. By the way, this is endless fishing, so I don't know if you just want to have, like, a little podcasty episode. Well, I do want to kind of check and see how the fishing works. Okay. All right. So you can move your rod using the buttons, and then aim and fire. All right. Uh... Oh, that's what it means. I can't be... What? Huh. So I can't go over to where you are. It just kicks me over. Hey, hey. So you know play fair. Ah, okay. Okay. All right, so if we well, do... I'll start right here, and then... Oops, wrong button, wrong yeah. button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Not like that. Maybe more like that. So how do I ah. bring it in? Oh! I got a koi! You got a koi. Look at that koi. You got a koi. Aha! Look at here. I got a... Black bass. A black bass. I wonder if new fish just... Casually come in. Oh, yep, just saw one go through the earth. Huh. All right, what are you? Better not be a boot. Oh, you're a bluegill. That's that's obviously yellow. I, I'm just surprised at how good these fish look and this water and everything. Aha, Nintendo does here, good come water. Here, come here, come here. Oh, careful come of here. your line. Careful of your line. It snapped. Oh, it did snap. That can happen. Okay. Yeah, of course it happens. It always happens. I wonder if Nintendo called up Sega. It's like, hey guys, do you have time to make a fishing minigame for our 51 Clubhouse games, please? So I remember when I first learned about this with, an, with another fishing oh! game. Ooh, a golden koi! Hey! Golden koi! Oh my god! So there is this little electronic fishing game that I used to have as a kid. It's, you know, a uh, simple kind of thing. You know, it, little basic bleeps and bloops, some red lines <laughs> here and there. <laughs> Most of uh, the fishing is, you know, kind of virtual, not exactly mm -hmm. real. Oh! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. You're right here. Okay, what do you got? It's a catfish! Uh-oh. Meow. <laughs> Meow. So, the first level, I'm like, yeah, this, this is great. I'm casting like because, you know, it's got, like, this thing on the end of it that actually, like, mm -hmm. realistically, like, you know, uh, like, retract and, like, have tension and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can reel it on the side. But again. Oh, black bass, nice. So the first couple levels, this is easy, you know, I, 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 I cast it, and then, yeah, I just reel it in, and it's like, you got a big fish. Oh! It's like, yeah, all right, yeah. And then when we get to, like, level three, that's when they introduce tension, and then I can't just freely, <laughs> willingly, just... It starts, it starts like, yelling at me, like, wait, you know, wait, wait, like, what's happening? I was like, man, it's like, it, your, your line's about to snap. I was like, line's about to snap? What are you talking about? It's fishing line! Ah! Okay. But we humans are better than those fish! Oh. Da! You were saying... All right, so in order to uh, take a little bit of tension off, you can yank it back to bring the fish in closer. So you're not just, like, reeling and snapping your line. No! I got a, got a small fry. Look at a cherry salmon. How many, oh, shit. Sorry. Okay, I, I, Press I, the wrong I guess... Press the wrong button, my bad. I, I, I guess that's more than he can stand. Hoo-yah! I've only been fishing in real life a couple times, and... Man, I got sunburned. Yeah, it's not for me. I went kind of, like... All right, I got one that matches. I, uh... 
<laughs> yeah, I, I didn't catch anything. I've only won it twice in my life. No, and, no. Uh, I didn't. I didn't do very well. I okay, didn't. never mind. It doesn't actually work. Shoot. I guess it, I guess you have to have like the big fish just close. Why did it snap? I didn't do anything. Yeah. What's the rules? What the rules? What the rules? I don't know what they are. I'm glad developers are realizing that fishing can be, you know, nice and therapeutic. You know, just casting the lines with your buddies. And if you don't have any buddies, just enjoy getting the big catch. I can't relax with fishing, though, because if I, t if I shut my eyes for a second, oh, if I relax for just a second, then that's when I get a bite. You know? That's when the fish attacks, yes. <laughs> yeah. So I can't relax. I'm in, a, I'm in a constant state of anxiety. It's like, oh, am I going to get a bite? Am I going to get a bite? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Where's the fish? Now? What's, what's going to happen? I'm, I'm looking at that line, but I can't relax. See, I've never, like, gone crazy like that. Like, it's just chill time. We're having fun. We're all enjoying ourselves here. Get over here. I would love a Mortal Kombat fishing game. <laughs> like, you see the big catch. Get over here! And then your line snaps because it's a fishing game. Ooh, but then you'd be like, like reeling it back, and then the line gets caught over your neck, and then you have a fatality due to fish. Well, it's, it's, it's Mortal Kombat, so the fishing is, you know, pretty average, you know, pretty pretty standard stuff. You know, something you would you'd expect from a good reiteration of Sega bass fishing. But then when you get to descaling and deboning the fish, well, then <laughs> that's when they get really creative. <laughs> the the one part of fishing nobody does in the fishing games. That's a big boy over there. I see that. I think like, you're right next to the huge, huge like guy. Scorpion gets like his fucking get over here, <laughs> get over here, <laughs> into a shark, pulls it over to shore, kit takes his his katana, string. Oh my it. god, you are very animated. Cuts it right in half. <laughs> it just it just splits cleanly down the side. Okay, cool. You got a koi. You got a gloated koi. I got a gloated koi. Yep, that's what it was. Gloated koi. Gloated koi. From craft. If only I could go fishing and fish up some craft macaroni and cheese, that would just be the greatest. Trying to get big boy? I'm gonna get big boy. Come here, big nah. boy. Nah. Hey, big boy. I hey, big I, boy. I think I can get it. Hey, big boy. Hey, big boy. Hey, biting big boy. I think you should already. come over here. He's biting on my thing already. I think you should come over no. here. Uh, oh my god, it's a boot. Oh my god, look at that it's boot. A, it's a catfish. I look at that giant boot made of catfish. I got a litter of kitty fishies. Meow, 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 meow. Oh no. There's, there's so much meowing. All right, so what do cats usually eat? Uh, Cat food? Which consists of what? Oh, uh, probably chicken and fish, mainly. What, what do catfish eat? Uh, humans. I thought it'd be, you know... Cows. Chickens. <laughs> I kind of love the idea that a giant carp just takes down a cow. <laughs> no. It's just, it's just like... It's, have you ever seen Lake Placid? No. It's kind of a shit movie, but uh, there is one scene that they use for the previews where uh, a cow's right next to a river and the giant alligator just comes up and just eats it in one bite. I imagine that's what giant catfish do to cows. I was thinking about this uh, yeah, the other week. We haven't seen a movie in years together. <laughs> Another catfish! <laughs> Another one of these meow Oh my cats. god, I got it! An eel! An eel. Oh, that's gonna taste great. Mmm! Yeah, we, we haven't seen a movie in years, so when you say it's a shit movie, I'm like, oh yeah, try me. Okay, it's subpar. It was during that time where, like, everything was a natural enemy, including tornadoes. Oh, <laughs> one of those natural disaster kind of tornado or, uh, movies. Well, it's just like, you know, we, we've got giant shark, we've got giant alligator now, and uh, what if we turn a tornado into a serial killer? That, that sounds like a good idea for a film. Oh, backup boot. Oh, yes. Yes. Look at my cherry salmon. And it tastes like hickory. Ah! Um, you scared the fish away! Ha! Ah! So With you your words and your actions! I yelled at the fish. You yelled at the fish! You don't yell at the fish! You jam a hook in their cheek, yank them out and crook them! Or throw them back. <laughs> at first I thought you said yank them out and crook them, so I'm just thinking it's like, you're yanking them off the stage? How could you? You make criminals out of them. 
Oh, criminal, criminal fish. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not, not the small dude. I hope your line snaps. I hope your line snaps. Yeah. Damn it. Your line didn't snap. Got another catfish. I'm getting all the catfish I here. I am getting all the catfish. I'm getting all the pu- uh, No, no, no. I'm getting all- <laughs> Getting all the puss fish. I wonder if any dude bros actually consider that. It's like, no, you can get catfish. It's like, dude in a river? Hell yeah! <laughs> Have you seen my son? That's a clownfish. <laughs> Are you winning fishing, son? No, I just get clownfish. Come on. Take the line. Take the line. You know you want it. Yeah. You know, I actually see... When I'm turning on sports channels at work, you know, they got professional fishing and whatnot. And, mm -hmm. You know, big mouth bass fishing and all that. You know, brought to you by the Bass Pro Shop. And blah, 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 blah. Man, I don't think... Maybe it's just because I'm still on the younger side, but... God, that seems like a boring thing to watch in person. It, just, it might be personal preference, like me and baseball. See, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of baseball. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a alternative you sports guy. You fuck with baseball. <laughs> I don't, I mean, it's, it's, it's more fun to play, I think, than it is to oh, watch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is, definitely, it is, definitely. It, it is interminable. I've been to, I've watched it on TV. I've, I've, I've been to one live. It is interminable. Now, softball, though. <laughs> now, softball. Softball, that's, that's another thing entirely. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Come on! Come on! Yes! See, I come from a sports family, Woo! but uh, our, our sport is mainly college football. I watch some college football. We also typically watch, like, you know, soccer, hockey, lacrosse, things like that. I'll watch hockey. I'll watch hockey all day. I know nothing about the sport. I just like it when the, when the puck goes into the goal and everybody just goes wild. Well, yeah, because that means that you scored. I think that's the same with football. I just like seeing a really close game, good plays, seeing the skill on the on the field. I have no idea how football works. I just know get ball into end zone, win points, win game. It's going to be uh, November here soon. Oh, yeah. And uh, November is my favorite time to watch professional football. Football season! Do you want to know why it's my favorite time? Because it's always on. Well, not only that, but it's getting, you know, it's it's November. Things are getting colder. You know, people are starting to wind down for the ho for, for the holidays, you know, and uh, these... Uh, no, another small fry. These 30, 40-year-old men are getting kind of cranky. <laughs> so what happens around this time, especially around the Thanksgiving game, is that they get cranky, and there is a massive uptick in my favorite thing to see in professional football. Fights. <laughs> you watch, you watch football on Thanksgiving, I can guarantee there will be at least one fight. And so, it is a thing to see. So basically you're trying to transition hockey into into football. That's what you're saying. Well, you see with hockey, you know, ha you know, half the time oh, it's, shoot. you know, people saying, hey, I'm sick of you, and they kick each other's ass. Half <laughs> the time it's like, hey, things are kind of low right now. You want to go ahead and fight? Yeah, and, you want to uh, fight. You know, you know, they're about to take a TV timeout, you know, just like, yeah, let's do it, you know. Just... Yeah, okay, let's fight, let's fight. Y yeah, you can tell the ones that that's that's supposed to be, you know, a uh, 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 pop for the audience and ones that, that they're, they're really fucking hating I, I each think, other. I think you told me this one time. Yeah. The thing to look for is when they fling the gloves off. That's like, <laughs> oh, it's like, that's I'm sick of you. That's a real fight. <laughs> There's also been ones where, like, the entire, uh, uh, player, uh, Oh, yeah, the entire team goes- goes on there. Oh, man, they just- they just ended up killing each other. I don't, I don't even know what happened. <laughs> I- I was just here in the audience. I had no idea what happened, but the entire team just started fighting one another. It was crazy. Starting to get into basketball a little bit, too. That one, for me, it just needs a little more pizzazz, because sometimes you can get shutouts. And that's not interesting to watch. In at least basketball? In, at least in my opinion, yeah. I've seen it happen. How do you get shutouts in basketball? You do uh, so bad, you don't score a single point in any of the four quarters. Oh, that's what was happening. What? Yeah, yeah there were there was a there was a uh a game I was. What did the watching. Miami Heat take on a bunch of fifth graders? Probably, what happened? Probably, yeah. But uh basically, yeah, I was watching a game and 
I look over and all of a sudden it's 40 to nothing. I was like, hmm, all right, so we probably don't need to watch the rest of this one. Are you sure you're watching basketball and not a terrible game of college football? Have I ever told you that I watch professional cornhole, by the way? College cornhole. Oh, okay, is it college or professional? Because I'm pretty sure there's no such thing as professional cornhole. Let's not kid ourselves. Okay, it was college professional. It was, it was brought to you by Bush Light and uh, Bush's it's like, Baked Beans. It's like, I'm part of the major pickleball league. It was, without a doubt, the most stalemate of any sport I have ever seen. <laughs> because when you're good at cornhole, you're sinking the... You're, you're, you know, you're sinking the bags every single time. And when you do that, there is no competition. Because if you match points with your opponent, it becomes null and void. So about seven rounds went by, nobody scored a single point. And I was like, man! Yeah, there's not, there's not enough variables. It's Pulse you. pounding action! It's you, one beanbag, and a plank of wood. It's it's easy to predict those results. I mean, I mean, take bowling, for instance. Okay, bowling can be very interesting. Yes, it can be, because that, that ball can roll in any way from here yeah. to down. There's, those ten pins can do any number of wonderful things, thanks to Chaos Theory. <laughs> they they throw it to the right, but it goes straight in the middle? How is that even possible? The way they throw it could be different, but you, you can, yeah. like, you can cheese yes. corn, yes. Cor, uh, cornhole, yes. basically. Woohoo! No skill. This is, it's not even a team sport. Let, like, even pickleball has that above cornhole. I was, uh, last time my family got together at, uh, at Grandma's house, you know, bring the entire family, you know, we're all playing cornhole outside. My cousins, holy cow, they, they got that college power. Nah. Like, you go to a college and you're playing cornhole, you're gonna get decimated if you've never played before, if you only play casually. Because, my god, they were just going, I want it to go there, toss straight up in the air and it lands exactly where they say. It's just like, okay! difference between a, a pro and an amateur cornhole player. Pro player. B being able Thunk. to... <laughs> yeah, when it just lands or, or, you know, the special move helicopter, and then it just goes straight in. Amateur. <laughs> or, you know, the slide. My favorite move where you hit it on the board and it just slides right off. Come here, fishy. Come here, fishy. Yeah. Come here, fish. Come here, fish. All right, I think we've milked all we can out of uh, just catching the same few fish over and over hey, again. Hey, I was having fun talking with you. I was too, This but is what fishing's about. That's that's true, but I think we've uh, decimated the fishing population enough here. But they still keep coming back. They're coming through the rocks, man. Okay, one more story. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, my, bro my brother had a, this uh, PC game. Uh, you, you remember a Little Bear, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's comforting forest vibes. In a, in a children's cartoon, it's 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 lovely. Well, there was a PC game about it. Just you know, I was like, play and learn, Little education, bear. educational bullshit. Fun stuff happens when you click. So, uh, for for uh, for this game, it was a fishing mini game, of course. And it's a uh, it's a uh, little bear and cat. Little bear. In a boat, in a lake. And there's just a bunch of fish, and. Little bear throws down his hook. The fish bites the hook, and then he <gasps> you reels, catch fish. Then he reels it in and puts it into his boat, never to be seen again. So little bear is sitting here for like 15 minutes, completely decimating the population of this of this local eco uh, ecosystem. Did I ever tell you about how I ruined the economy of Blue's Clues? Blue's Clues has an economy. Blue's Clues has an economy. There is a there was an old PC game uh, that my that my younger sister had. Basically, it was uh, Blue's Clues Carnival or something like that. Like you go to the carnival, you play mini games, and you get what's called blue dollars. And the the point of the game is to use your blue dollars and get things that you can print off on your new HP printer if you had it. Uh -huh. You know, a little certificate or whatever. You can buy those with blue dollars. I think the maximum you needed is like 60 total. Man, I was a pool shark in red light, green light. You have no idea. I had over 400 blue dollars by the end of that. Jeez. People were coming to me for payment. That economy was ruined. And I found all so three please, clues. Please, please, Niskel, I just need an extra 20 just to make, just to get me through the carnival. It's like, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Red light. <gasps> what? Green light. <laughs> <laughs> burr, burr, burr. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> what 
What do you, hey, what do you think, Blue? Should we ice him? Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> well, you heard her. Yeah. Sorry, Johnny. <laughs> hey, you heard the girl. <laughs> And this was actually before the extended universe of Blue's Clues, by the way, so still Steve, no paprika. Oh. Before very old. Ooh. Ooh. Very old. That's like original 150 Pokemon. Exactly, Not even yeah. 151. Not yet. even a Mew yet, oh, yeah. No. no ancient Mew card for going to go see Pokemon movie 2000. Nuts. For it. Favorite fishing game in a non-fishing game. Uh, uh I'll, I'll go with a recent one. Persona 5 Royal's pretty good. It's Sega, so it makes sense. I gotta go with Stardew Valley. You know, I have never played any of those farming simulator games. Stardew Valley... Stardew Valley is one you underline need to play. It is the one. Isn't uh, isn't Dev coming up with a new game coming up? Enchanted Chocolatier or something like that? It's called Haunted Chocolatier. Haunted are you Chocolatier. kidding me? He's he's coming out with 1.6 for Stardew Valley. It's just like, oh yeah, I'm taking a break from Haunted Chocolatier to go ahead, go ahead and add, uh, do some bug fixes and add even more shit to the game. He knows where the where the bread's buttered. Stardew Valley is going on a chamber tour concert across across the world. That's pretty funny. Are you kidding? Got the whole Stardew Chamber Orchestra ready to play. See, I, you know, I was so worried about Stardew Valley because everyone's, you know, when it first came out, everyone's talking so, you know, so much about it. I'm thinking, well, how am I going to do that? Because, you know, go, 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 like, go. I thought it was... <gasps> Oh I God. thought I was moderately okay at, at a GameCube Harvest Moon, a, a Wonderful Life. Mm -hmm. But this guy is such an old-school Harvest Moon fan. He's saying, oh, yeah, they haven't been good since, like, 1999. I'm like, oh, jeez. Oh, that's, that's OG. That's since, a big OG since, energy. Since, since, since Save the Farm, he said, for PlayStation. I'm like, oh, jeez, man. Yeah. I mean, if you've played recent Harvest Moons, it's not far off. This are, is why people buy yeah, Story of... Are we talking about Harvest Moon or Story of Seasons? No, Story of Seasons is the one that's good. Yes, because that, that's actually Harvest Moon. Yeah, Harvest Moon itself has not been good, but Story of Seasons is excellent. Because of ridiculous publishing rights. You... No! Well, hey, you need another boot? I, get, I got an entire shoe closet. Where do you think the myth of catching a boot came from? Like, I know you can still catch trash... But why always a boot? You see that in all forms of fish media. All right, I'm going to call this an educated guess. Okay. Here we go. What you got? So. I think like maybe 17th, 18th, even early 19th century. So very we'll early. We'll say London. Okay. Or some kind of large city. Okie dokie. A lot of bad shit goes on in those cities, <laughs> in case you didn't know. A lot of death, a lot of torture. A lot of murder behind the scenes, both from the state and from the people within the city. A lot, lot of death. Mm -hmm. A lot of people getting cement shoes and getting tossed into the river. A lot of people getting stabbed and then, oh, we need to hide the body and getting thrown into the river. A lot of bad things happen to bad people and they get thrown into the river. Mm -hmm. So a guy's fishing and he catches a boot from one of these numerous corpses being thrown into the river. That's my thought. So just like a lot of things that we know of, like, you know, Ring Around the Rosie, it's all based on something horrific. That's that's what I'm going on. I'm not, I'm that could be a darker interpretation or even, you know, not dark enough, I don't know, but cuz imagine losing a fishing competition to a goddamn boot. Oh my god, I got a lunker. Yup. It's an LL Bean. It's a dick sporting goods that you just fished up. Well, I, I, I say we end this with a with a pun. Okay. All right. So you want to know where you can find boots? Where can you find boots? There's a there's a secret trick. Oh, I won. Oh well, no, that's. A, that's I didn't a know they were keeping score. <laughs> oh well. All right. Well, neat. Continue. Yeah. So. If you want to know where to find boots, you need to go to a certain part of the river. Okay. You need to hold your your, your, your fishing rod out, and it should make it sound like... Bang, 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 bang. 
And that's where you know you've made it to the boot sector. Yes, boot. Boot! I was waiting for the T. Boot. 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 Cause cause you're 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 saying my joke was was boot. T. Yes. What? Okay. Battle tanks is next. It's time for a Fortnite of tanks! Bye.